Hi friends, I'm Sarah and today I'm staying in a yurt in Boise, Idaho. I am here to meet up with my college best friend, Jamie. We haven't seen each other since before COVID. And this is a pit stop on our way to go stay in a geodesic glamping dome in Cascade, Idaho, which is a new Airbnb unit that my friend Whitney Hansen of Money Nerds made. And you guys have seen her on this channel before. I am so excited to go see what Whitney's done. She's wanted one of these and has been working on this site, which is on like the side of a mountain for years at this point and I've been itching to go see it. It's not even open to the public yet. It's going up soon. So when it'll probably be up by the time this is live. So I'll link her down below. But since we were flying into Boise, we wanted to stay here for a night, not have to get out to the mountains. And uh, we decided to stay in a yurt because neither of us has stayed in a yurt before. And this is fantastic. This yurt is actually from the 80s. We're at a place called 36th Street Stays and it's absolutely fantastic. There's a yurt here, there's an Airstream. There are a few other units on this property and it's picturesque and lovely. There are vines everywhere. The trees are changing colors. Jamie is here as well. <laughs> and we just had the best night stay. The bed was fantastic. We were worried about it being cold, but it was actually really lovely warm. There's a stove over there, and there's even a, currently a cat on our bed who value add by 10. Huge, huge bonus. <laughs> All right, let's take a look around the yurt. I should also say this place was cheap, cheap, cheap. I think it was about a hundred bucks total, including or maybe a little bit over a hundred after the cleaning fees and Airbnb and taxes and everything. This is absolute steal and I'm, I'm very excited. So a little bit of history of yurts. Yurts were originally used by nomads in Central Asia, like back in the BC days. And they were huts that could like collapse and kind of go in on themselves. And this is a slightly more modern yurt. This was built in the eighties. And there's all sorts of history on the place here, but you can tell so much. There is so much love and charm and history to this. And it's been so cool. It's also a little bit of an architectural marvel, I think. Like this whole thing is just supported by like a lattice work and a crown. And there's kind of a cap up there and it's just absolutely gorgeous. There is a wood stove, a gorgeous queen bed that is so soft, a couple of futons so this place can actually sleep six. The bathroom is other place on the property but there are locks and all the units have access to it and I've been able to run into a couple other people here and they've been absolutely lovely. But it feels very safe, it feels very secluded and we are just a couple of minutes from downtown Boise. The owners also have two other Airbnbs on the property. One is in the kind of garage that has the bathroom and shower in it. And the other is a little camper. It's a little baby Airstream. And I, I honestly wish I could see that one too. Oh, it's so cute. I wanna see what they did with it. I will link all of their listings down below. This was also crazy affordable. It was like less than $50 a night and the cleaning fee was pretty minimal as well. The backyard is absolutely gorgeous. I love all the ivy and the chickens and all the little seating areas they have set up. We don't get leave changes like this. I mean, they're the most gorgeous yellow to orange to red leaves here. We don't get that in Texas, <laughs> at least where I live. And we didn't get that in Mississippi where I lived. So Jamie will be here soon. I'm incredibly excited to see her. It's been three years and we're probably gonna go back downtown grab some dinner and just chill for the night. Jamie is here, finally. We haven't seen each other in three years. Also, update. The futons are not comfortable, but what futons are, I do however think it's pretty freaking brilliant to have these little like soft covers on them because then they can wash them and basically fully sanitize between every guest. I think that's really, really smart. What do you think of it like first? I love it. Impressions. It's, so it's cozy it's and it, it feels very roomy. It's, it's, it's huge. Big. It's kind of huge. And like just you can see the night sky. <laughs> right You'll be able to see the night sky. Yeah. It's nice and cool in here. Lay down in the bed real quick. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The mattress is fantastic. The bedding is super luxurious and the pillows are super plush. So 
10,000 stars on that. Also, it's 68 degrees outside right now. So I think we rented this in the exact perfect temperature. You guys know I love an Airstream and this is a little shorty. Look how cute it is. If it had just been me staying and not me and Jamie, I would have rented that one too. I don't know if you're allowed in here, but I mean, it's okay with us. Oh my goodness, how sweet. What's your name? Do you have a little collar? Oh, his name is Mook. Hi, Mook. Hi, sweet pea. She's the cat person. Such a good kitty. Mm -hmm. And apparently he makes it his uh, mission to see if guests are cat readable. Because Jamie noticed on here, he uh, he's in a few of the little notes and stuff like that. Very good cat. Jamie and I went and had melting pot for dinner. So just like a pot of cheese and charcuterie and it was delicious and felt very like light and good. Back at the yurt, I'm getting for a shower. It's a little weird, like walk through and also know that like a couple other people have access to this, but this door locks. I'm sure everything will be fine. I just didn't want to accidentally like try to knock if somebody was in here. The yurt's supposed to get down to like 47 tonight. So uh, we got matching really warm clothes, jammies. We also, Jamie got some temporary tattoos that are supposed to last like a couple of weeks. We put those on, it's a ginkgo leaf. Our alma mater symbol is the ginkgo. So how cute, right? All right, we're all showered and tucked into bed. It is 59 degrees outside, but pretty comfy in here. We're both wearing uh, flannels that Jamie got us. Um, I don't think they're real, are they real flannels or are they? I don't know, but they're soft. It's like warm. a thick Amazon fabric. There's a obvious and tangible history to this place. You can feel that it was lovingly put together by people's hands, kept over time, cherished. Good morning. It is 7 a.m. Jamie and I both just kind of woke up and uh, it's still dark here, but this bed was so comfortable and warm and cozy and the fireplace in here, we didn't realize it was on, but I guess it was preset to uh, offset the fact that it's 50 or in the 40s outside and it's warm and cozy and amazing. Even the walk to the bathroom in the middle of the night is like really well lit and it's, it's absolutely lovely here. Lovely. I love what these people have created. You wake up and see this and it's just peaceful. All right, how'd you sleep? Amazing. The bed was fantastic. It was comfy. It was warm. Yeah. Cozy. Yeah. And we were both worried we were going to get like cold and be miserable. Yeah. It was wonderful in here. Yeah. The fireplace was really, really nice. We didn't have to adjust it at all. It was like preset to do everything. Yes. And uh, then when we woke up, Moop came back inside. Nobody better come for this cat. This cat was a value add significantly. All right. Thank you for coming along with me during my stay in a yurt. I would love to have one of these one day. I do not know if it could be temperature regulated in as hot of areas as like Texas. It is perfect to stay in right now here and probably decent to heat, but I don't know if you could, I think it might swelter. I don't know, I don't know. I need to look more into yurts because I would love to own one of these one day. Check out all of the 36th Street properties down at my link below, check out Winnie's. And you can also see other unique stays that I've stayed at in places I've considered buying and other unique stays that I've bought in the playlist down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye.